Hello. Uh, what we have here is a family of RADV valves, uh, pressure independent uh, balancing control valves dedicated for radiators. Uh, those uh, angle straight UK, uh, angle left, angle right uh, are dedicated for side connection radiators. And uh, sometimes on projects we have uh, uh, the same projects, uh, let's say we have radiators uh, with side connection and radiators with bottom connection. So for bottom connection radiators, uh, uh, it is good to use uh, dynamic HPs. Uh, it is called uh, RLV KDV. Uh, it looks like this uh, and has delta P controller, small delta P controller uh, inside of HPs. It keeps 10 kPa for each radiator, so float can be adjusted with uh, presetting of radiator valve. Uh, in case radiator valve does not have presetting, it can be changed into the one has presetting. Uh, if you don't want to change presetting of your uh, radiator, or you don't want to change uh, insert of your radiator, you can use dynamic HPs with already integrated dynamic valve and. Uh, it regulates the same as uh, standard RADV dynamic valves, and uh, it's very convenient actually. Uh, no need to change anything, just put the HPs uh, with integrated dynamic valve, and you, all you need is to set flow. So, in uh, one project, uh, some radiators can be used with uh, RADV valves, some radiators can be mounted with dynamic H pieces and uh, they both don't need uh, additional balancing valves uh, up to 60 kPa's. In case we have a bigger project and uh, uh, would need a bigger pump uh, then you can use uh, uh, ASP PV Delta P controllers for like a branches or uh, or main pipes uh, to reduce Delta P for a maximum 60 kPa, so having bigger pressure controllers on uh, main pipes, on branches, a project can be expanded to a quite big one. Okay, hope it was useful, thanks for watching and see you, bye bye.